In this mini project we'll be making a lithium ion battery charger. So let's get started. So to make this mini project we'll need one uh, TP4056 uh, based uh, lithium ion battery charger module. Uh, I'll be going into details of this module in a minute. Then we'll need one uh, lithium ion battery. I'm using this Samsung uh, ICR18650. Uh, then we'll need a holder for the same battery. Uh, then we are going to need one LM7805 voltage regulator then uh, four of these 100 nanofarad capacitors one switch then we are also going to need one uh, wall adapter I am using this uh, 12 volt uh, 1 ampere uh, adapter then we are also going to need a small PCB and for connecting this uh, adapter to our uh, PCB we will also need female uh, counterpart for this one. So from tool side we are going to need one soldering iron then solder wire, one hot plate and casing and we will use this hot, hot plate to modify this casing to enclose our uh, product and if you don't know how to if you don't have this hot plate you can make it on your own put a link in the description how to on how to make this hot plate we are also going to need a glue gun and a screwdriver with some spare screws let's get into details of tp4056 uh, based lithium ion charger module so there are typically two versions of uh, this uh, tp4056 based lithium ion charger breakout boards available in the market uh, one that contains uh, battery protection circuitry and one that doesn't we'll be using one that contains battery protection circuitry and uh, battery protection is provided using this uh, DW01A uh, battery protection IC and uh, FSA205A that is a dual engine enhancement, enhancement mode power MOSFET IC TP4056 is a complete linear charger module for single cell lithium ion batteries its SOP package and low external component count make TP4056 is ideal suitable for DIY applications like that of ours. It can also work with USB as well as wall adapters. And there are two LEDs uh, on this breakout board that indicates various uh, charge state. And here is a table uh, that summarizes various LED uh, status for corresponding charge state. Let's look at a typical charging cycle. Uh, for safe charging of uh, 3.7 volt lithium ion battery, it should be charged at constant initially it should be charged at constant current of 0.2 to 0.7 times it capacity uh, till it reaches uh, its terminal voltage it reaches 4.2 volts later it should be uh, charged in a constant voltage mode till the charging current drops to 10 percent of the initial charging rate we can't terminate charging at 4.2 volt uh, because capacity reached at 4.2 volt is only about 40 to 70 percent of full capacity that's why we need to continue this constant voltage charging. We don't have to worry about all this stuff as all of this is taken care by TP4056 IC. But one thing that is in our control is the initial charging current and that is determined by a resistor that is connected to the programming pin of uh, TP4056 and it's here in the uh, breakout board. So you can change this uh, resistor and correspondingly we can set the charging current uh, you can play around with this resistor to uh, suit your battery and here is a small diagram showing a DW01A uh, battery protection IC and these are the two MOSFETs these are, uh, that comes from FSA205A IC and these MOSFETs are shut down in case of overcharging and over discharging so first thing that I did was to make a 5 volt 7805 based regulator. If you have a 5 volt wall adapter, you don't have to uh, make this regulator. So I inserted my 7805 on the board and connected 300 nanofarad capacitors on in parallel on the input side and 100 nanofarad capacitor on the output side. After that, I soldered them together on the board and made this circuitry. Uh, let me just walk you through a complete circuitry. Uh, so here is our DC jack through which will give a uh, 12 volt input and through a switch we are connecting it to the input of the 7805 based regulator that we just made 
and the output of this unit 05 based regulator goes to the input of our TP4056 based lithium ion circuitry. And from there, you can connect your battery holder to B plus and B minus terminal. After making a 5 volt uh, regulator, I connected the DC jack to the input of 7805 based regulator. Later on, I added the switch on the positive side of this circuitry. And the output of uh, 7805 based regulator was connected to the input of TP4056 based charger. And here is how our schematic looks uh, in the physical world. So we have a DC jack switch connected on the positive rail. Uh, those connections are connected to the input of our 7805 based regulator. From there the output of 7805 based regulator goes to uh, TP4056 based uh, charger and its output that is, that is a battery terminals are connected to our battery holder. So after completing the circuitry I started modifying the enclosure. First of all I took dimension of battery holder and then I used my hot plate to cut through this enclosure. As you can see, it took me a bit of effort to cut through this enclosure. But uh, if you get a hot blade to a considerably high temperature, uh, things should be easy and fine. And here are some results. It got a bit weird on left edge. Uh, later, uh, later on, I used I marked the uh, dimensions of TP4056 uh, uh, charger and used hot blade to again carve a hole for. Uh, USB port. Then I took dimensions of LEDs and again made a hole for made a hole on enclosure for these LEDs. After doing that, I made two more holes for uh, switch and DC jack. So these are the holes for battery holder, USB uh, port, and LEDs, and these are the two holes for switch and DC jack. So after making holes at proper location in the enclosure I started assembling our circuitry using a glue gun. So first in a row was our battery holder. After that I uh, glued in the charging circuitry and made sure that the LEDs were at proper location. After that I glued in our 7805 based regulator, uh, DC jack and our switch. And uh, while assembling the wires between uh, TP4056 and regulator were causing a bit of trouble so I had to uh, disconnect them and later I connected those using a solder wire and used uh, electrical tape to insulate those two. Later I used some spare screws and a screwdriver to close the lid. I even used some uh, insulating tape to cover up those ugly looking uh, cuts that we made using a uh, hot blade to give it a final touch and uh, so there we have it our uh, complete product so uh, this is how it looks and uh, under my thumb is uh, DC jack and uh, here is a switch so that's it and uh, let's give it a test run so initially uh, if you turn it on uh, without uh, any battery in it uh, the blue line is light is turned on and red is in blinking uh, status. Later I inserted uh, uh, battery in it and uh, we'll see uh, now if we insert the battery uh, it is in the charging state and finally uh, after it gets fully charged uh, blue light leads up. So that's all for this video. Uh, if you like this uh, mini project uh, subscribe to this channel give it a like and we'll see you next time